Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to quickly make a video to show you how to mod PAL World to make it run a little bit better on the Steam Deck. In order to do this, you need to make sure you go into desktop mode and also make sure you've got PAL World installed on your Steam Deck through Steam. But with that, you're going to open your browser and go into this website. I'm going to put this link down in the comments. Go in there, make sure you make an account on this website, go into files. You're going to be presented with two main files, the SD Essentials Experimental and SD Essentials Stable. I'm going to show you how to use the stable version. You can play around with the experimental version if you like to, okay? So click on manual and then slow download. All right, with that, we're going to open our downloads folder. I'm going to unzip it extract and this is the file. So before we actually install the mod, I just wanna quickly show you what's inside each folder. We're gonna start with the engine.ini folder. We'll go in there and you can see there's different styles of uh, graphics that you can apply. So depending on what you like, you can try different ones. I personally went with light cartoon art style. So when you go in here, you can see there's different presets of settings that you can apply and you can play around with this stuff. The only annoying thing about it right now is that if you want to change this around, you're going to have to go back into desktop mode and reapply these individually through Dolphin browser. Personally, I use Ultra Performance TSR or Ultra Performance FXAA, whichever one you want to try out, that's fine. I found that between these two, I get the best performance. You can try the other ones as well if you like to. And like I said, you can go back into the other ones if you want to try the normal art, art style. They all have their own things. Or if you go into cartoon art style, it has those same options. We're going to go back to our main folder again. And here you also have a mods folder and it has this pack file. Just going to go back and open the readme text file, which will explain what we need to do. First, it says put one of the presets inside of engine ini in your game engine.ini folder and click override. Where is this folder? We have a look here. You can see the address for it is already given to you. So all we need to do here is select this address, copy it, and then go back into Dolphin. I'm going to actually split up this screen because I need to use both of them at the same time. You're just going to click on the side of this little window here and then delete all of that. And then you're going to paste the address and press enter. And then you're going to see all these files here. I'm going to suggest that you back up your engine.ini file just in case you end up not liking the settings that you're applying to your game. You can always go back and grab the original file. On this side now, we've got the file that we're going to replace. Okay, so I'm just going to copy it. And on this side, I'm going to go back to my downloads folder. I'm just going to paste the original engine file in my downloads folder so that if by any chance I want to go back to the original settings, I can go back and grab this file. And now I'm going to go into engine folder, light cartoon, and I'm going to grab the ultra performance TSR. Um, we're going to grab this engine file. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it in here. Okay, it's going to ask if you want to overwrite it. You need to click on override and it'll be done. We've finished with step number one. I'm going to now continue with step number two. It says put mods folder inside the packs folder locator at your games directory. A couple of things we need to do first. I'm going to go back to my essentials files, go to mods and copy the pack file here. And in order to find your packs location, open Steam, go to your library, click on pal world, click on the gear, manage and browse local files. So the next step is to click on pal, content and packs. And I'm just going to paste the file in here and you can see it's showing up here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually launch the game to see if it's made any differences. As you can see, we've now managed to get easily at least 45 FPS in the open world. I haven't really progressed too far into the game, so I'm hoping by the time you get to more crowded areas and maybe bigger battles and things like that, this boost in FPS can be helpful. What I would suggest is to play around with different settings, different presets and see what works best for you. One more thing to remember is that the game itself as well as the mod are getting constantly updated. So maybe keep an eye out on the website that I've linked to the Nexus mods website 
just in case if there's any updates you want to make sure you stay on top of updating your mods just so you can continue playing the game if this video was helpful in any way i would really appreciate it if you could click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more guides like this if you have any questions or even if you have any suggestions regarding this mod feel free to post in the comment section down below the past few videos that i've posted have actually turned into pretty great discourse about the topic of each video, I'm sure someone is going to appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.